morning. Uh, we're going to go over our verse real quick. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. That's in Galatians 5.22. Our fruit today is peace. So if you have that craft kit at home, there's going to be, uh, it's going to, match with the lesson which is about peace today. Let's sing some songs together. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. so that you'll be able to spring up because that's the next song we're doing okay are you guys ready you can start sitting when we say spring up oh well and you can get up and go splish splash are you ready brother you ready here we go i got a flowing out of Trying to find 
in a word of prayer. Let's make sure we're real quiet here in prayer, okay? Here we go. Jesus, we thank you for loving us. I'm going to pray this time, son. Thank you for loving us. We just pray that you'd be with us and you'd help us to be a blessing to our mom, our dad, and our brothers and sisters. And Lord, that we would make you proud. And also, please give us peace in our heart and we can share that peace with others around us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, we're going to do a story next. I'll see you in a second. Hello again. We're going to do our Bible story. Uh, this story is about Daniel in the lion's den. So if you're looking for it in your Bible, it's in the book of Daniel, chapter 6. I'm going to be using my Bible because I like the pictures. Um, so please follow along with me as we read. King Darius made Daniel one of his three officials who supervised the governors of the land. Daniel had was such a good supervisor that King Darius was thinking about putting him over the whole kingdom. But the other officials got jealous. They tried to find something that Daniel was doing wrong, but they couldn't because he was an honest man and a good worker. They decided to get him into trouble. The jealous officials went to the king and said, We think that you should order that no one can pray to any god or any man except the king for 30 days. Anyone who disobeys this should be killed. When Daniel learned that King Darius had signed this new law, he went home. He knelt at his window and faced Jerusalem. Then, just as he always did, three times a day, Daniel prayed to the Lord. Daniel's enemies saw him praying at his window. They went straight to the king and said, Daniel does not respect or obey your new laws, king. He still prays three times a day. They insisted that Daniel had to be punished. The king was quite upset and tried to think of a way to save Daniel. The king's orders cannot be changed, they told him. So King Darius said, Daniel must be thrown into the lion's den. But he also said to Daniel, I hope your God rescues you. Then they put a stone over the opening and they sealed it so no one could help Daniel at all. That evening, the king was so worried about Daniel that he, that he didn't eat any food. He couldn't even sleep. At dawn, he ran to the den. That's early in the morning, dawn. Early in the morning, he ran to the den and cried, Daniel, did your God save you? And Daniel answered, he said, God sent his angel to shut the mouths of these lions. They have not hurt me. God saved me because he knows that I have done the king no wrong. The king had Daniel pulled out of the lion's den. Then the jealous officials who had accused Daniel were th thrown in. The lions immediately leaped up and killed them. Afterwards, King Darius wrote a letter to all of his subjects. Everyone must show respect to the God of Daniel. His God is the God who rescues and saves. He has saved Daniel from the lions. So the reason we, we uh, chose this story to go with peace is because it shows us that even if you're in a really bad situation like Daniel, right? He was getting thrown in a lion's den. Even if you have something really really hard or really bad happening to you. You can trust that God sees you and he cares about you. The Bible says that he even rescues us from a lot of different things that come into our lives. It says that he loves us just like we're his own children. And actually, he loves us better and more fully than even our parents sometimes. So if you don't have a great example of a good parent that loves you, God is a good parent that loves you completely. So when next time you go through something hard, hopefully God will put this story of Daniel in your mind and it can give you peace. That you can wait and be patient and have that peace in your heart. The Bible even says that sometimes God will give us a peace that passes understanding. There's lots of adults right now that are worried about different things. You know, the face masks or um, uh, the fires or... Um, 
you know, their jobs. And sometimes I think that it's a blessing that kids are in the world because God says to come to him as a little child. And the reason he says that is because he wants us to trust him and to have peace in our hearts because of the promises he's given us. So I just appreciate you guys. And this week, maybe somebody in your family or in your life needs peace and you can go up and encourage them and pray for them. Just like Daniel did three times a day, maybe you can pray for somebody in your family who needs peace. That's what we're going to do this week. Thank you guys. Love you all and you're in my thoughts and prayers.